Our most precious assets are our children, and every year we entrust them to the very best teachers, administrators, and support staff who make our schools so special. Go with us as we honor the recipients of our 2015 Teacher Impact Awards. First stop, Homewood Middle School. Hey. Hey. Steve Sills is a coach and computer skills instructor at Homewood Middle School. He's a mentor, advocate, and caring influence that brings real change to every student. But you're our teacher. Am I? Yes. Oh. <laughs> He's like my dad to me. And struggle in classrooms, he'll pick me up, struggle with my grades, and he'll tell me to do better, and he'll push me to work harder. That's what Coach Sills does. He impacts people by changing their lives. Gabe, stand up, Gabe. And what, 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 is, what do you do? What do you do? Um, I'm not a, ashamed of being good at science. I'm not ashamed of being good at science. Two claps, one, two, three. Are you not ashamed of both? I'm not ashamed of being good looking. I got swag. I didn't really have someone older than me to really take me under my wing until I got to college. Um, so in middle school, high school, I was taught to kind of be that leader, but there were times where I struggled and I didn't have that person that I trusted. And I, I really wanted that and I needed that. Coach Sills has taught me to, you know, be the, who I really am, not try to be someone else. He's pretty much the best kind of mentor you can have. I mean, he's always there for you whenever you need to talk or anything. And he's very much the ideal man in the society. I never thought I'd be that for kids here because in my eyes, I wanted to go play professional ball. And uh, it wasn't his plan. Now, it was my plan, but it wasn't his plan. And I just thank God every day now uh, for placing me here and seeing the impact that I have. It's not all about the money. At one point, I thought it was, and I wanted that. But to see these kids get excited when I come around, you have no idea. Just a few weeks ago, we got the exciting news that for the 10th time, Homewood has been named one of America's top communities for music education. Where does it all start? For children at Edgewood, it starts with Teresa McKibben. Ms. Cotton, are you going to make me cry? I've already cried once today for Mrs. Simpson. You just go so out of your way to just accommodate kids both in the classroom and outside, and you inspire them to just be all that they can be. And this is just a few things that kids have said about you and parents and fellow teachers. Miss McKibben has a way of inspiring students to be creative and try new things that they would otherwise not try. I'll never forget that uh, Miss McKibben actually had me sing a solo in kindergarten. She really helped to kind of pin down what each student's gift was and to encourage that student to pursue that gift. Uh, it was just a really fun um, six years in her class. We put on plays, which are always fun to learn and perform. Uh, I was Santa Claus, by the way. I've had some that come back that are in their 20s. They still remember their speaking parts in the Veterans Day program from second grade. Her constant patience and her constant happiness and joy and love for music and passion is what drove everyone to love music in elementary school. And she's a great teacher because she conveys that love to all of her students. It just makes them love it too. She's the best music teacher that I know. The students I get from Teresa McKibben at Edgewood Elementary School come to me with a love and passion of music already and it's it makes my job a lot easier. I think everybody in her class felt like that they were her favorite because she made every single student feel special in their own way. It's because I love them dearly. I love the children, I love the parents, I love the faculty. Edgewood School has been my life. Our next impact winner is a Sunday school teacher, a mentor, and a woman who strives to know every student as an individual. To her, these students are a gift from God. From Shades Cahaba, Stephanie Fort. Um, one of your students said, Miss Fort is my favorite teacher. She makes learning fun. I go to see her this year when I have a bad day because she always cheers me up. A parent, Miss Fort will be remembered as the teacher who made my child feel smart, funny, and unique. Our son thinks outside the box and is very inquisitive. 
Some teachers get frustrated with him, but Ms. Fort loves him and he knows it. She treats the kids like they're their own, her own kids. He never wanted to miss school because he said he could only miss her class if he had fever or was puking. <laughs> Those kids know what she expects from them, what she needs, and what they need to do. And it happens. <laughs> I've always wanted to teach. When I got to college, I was like, okay, I need to make money. So I went into accounting and didn't, I was like, I can't do this the rest of my life. So I took a semester off and worked in daycare for a semester. I then came back to Sanford and went into education. This is my 18th year teaching. I love it. It's my passion. You can trust her, and I think kids, kids feel that too, that connection, that she cares about you. and. Um, wants to see you succeed and progress and do well. And I think the most important part is to impact your kids, you have to know them. And then they have to know that you care about them. And when you get that from them, then you just about get them to do anything. When our high school hadn't found the perfect teacher for AP Anatomy, they looked to a woman who describes herself as a lifelong learner and a coach and a mother of four. And did I also mention that she teaches um, AP history? You're good. So come on in. See if you know the people in this room. Oh gosh. <laughs> if, if any of them. These Hi. are some representatives from Homewood's Foundation. Okay, so we came today because, are you familiar with Homewood Grown? I am. Someone has nominated you to be the teacher Stop. impact. Not just one person, numerous. Okay. Okay, do you need to sit down? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Mindy is the person who you can hear her wel welcoming the kids in the hall, welcoming the students, and she's just a, a person that it's really hard to have a bad day when you're around her. Mrs. McBride has always set a positive example in and outside of the classroom. She has always encouraged us to be nice to each other and treat each other with respect and protected us when it was not demonstrated by another student. She also has encouraged us to be ourselves no matter what and to not let others determine who we are. Mrs. McBride has encouraged me to appreciate school and science more while having a fun and energized educational experience. Well, you know, Ms. McBride really brings a real energy to the classroom that even though I have her at 8.50 in the morning, she still has that high energy and is really, really passionate about what she does. She's always energetic. I mean, no matter how gloomy you might feel that morning or how early the class is, she has the same energy every day. I think she, she knows the students individually. Uh, she takes a, an interest in them, not only their schoolwork and in school, but outside of school, what they're interested in, uh, what their activities are. And I think that she just cares about them as a, as a whole person and not just the students that's in her class for 50 minutes a day. Yes, so how does the endocrine system interact with your staff? You may want to put... Did you know that you always wanted to be a teacher? I didn't actually, no. I changed my major about 45 times in college. Um, and then just later on in college decided that um, I was really interested in getting back into the classroom and teaching. I think it is um, because I like to learn so much and so I wanted to be able to influence students to do the same. Jerome Isley has taught second grade at Hawkin Elementary for 15 years. Letter after letter to the foundation described his unwavering commitment to make every student feel special and to lovingly push them to achieve their very best. Today we're here to encourage you and one way, way that we can do that is by letting you know that we have chosen you to be our Teacher Impact of the Year for Hall Kent. Let me just say a few things. Okay. As a parent and fellow educator, I realize that students cannot and will not learn from someone from whom they do not take a, make a connection with or find meaning with in the classroom. Mr. Isley gets the big picture that he must first make a personal and meaningful connection with each student and family in order to reach them. Mr. Isley is what you call a game changer teacher. He makes each child and family feel as if they have been handpicked for their classroom and that each individual has purpose and great potential in his classroom community. He works diligently to engage every single student in his classroom from the first moment they step foot inside the door. I used to not like math and now I love it because of him. He just made it fun. You know, all the kids in our class are special, but I grew up with a very special sister um, that back in the, a long time ago, um, they called 
children like that, mentally retarded, and used words that may not be accepted today, but um, we just called her Kimberly, and um, she was very special. And it was hard not seeing her being able to do the things that we were able to do. Class. Yes. Rise and noon. All right, let's share. At that point, I didn't know I was gonna be a teacher. That was just those kind of building blocks um, that I think God put in my heart and in my mind um, for later in life. So he was just preparing me for the, the bigger picture. And now the bigger picture is, is coming every day and through that door. And he just captures the kids like you wouldn't ever see before. Like he really engages them, draws them in. He had just one rule, it was do right. And that like forms around everything. So all you had to do was like look at yourself and think, am I doing right? Not like a bunch of rules that you have to follow and remember. It was just that one, one rule. One day I just began to pray about, you know, what have you put together for me and reveal that to me? And he did. So I started back when I was 25 and graduated. And been, oh. Yeah. Been, right, been right here in this room for 15 years. So it really is. It's a part of me. So. To me, I see a group of 15, 19, 18, 17, 20, 23, 22, 24, 25, and, and so on throughout every year, and I see how much they've grown because I'm still out in the community. And so it's really, it is a powerful reflection of, of all the hearts that have touched me and taught me, and I've taught them as well. So that's why they're there, and that's why they'll continue to be there. <laughs>